We're now inside the Jubilee Hotel and I'm joined by the guys whose launch it is this evening, the guys that are headlining a massive festival of punk and also a little bit of ska, it's community service. I like that word massive, it's, it's massive. Quite massive, yes. I just wanted to actually start by asking you what it's like to get to the stage where you're actually releasing your CD yeah. here this evening and you've actually got a lineup like you have. It's satisfying and it's, it's a bit of a relief. It's, it's a relief, it's just thank God it's done because people have been giving me shit for years. For, it's just Brizzy Band, except for Unpaid Dead, it's just like the cream of Brizzy sort of punk rock. It's great that we play with these guys for years. Why the length of time to, uh, oh. to release a CD? We've recorded three or four times, we've never been really happy with what we've done. We have actually released an album before but it was on tape. Yeah, we released it's tapes. Slack as cops. That was in the 90s when tapes were cool. These days, it just doesn't cut it's it. Slack as cops yeah. and ordinary. It's, yeah. There's a common theme there. No, it wasn't ordinary, that's a new one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, right. We're just lazy, really. And financially, it was a bit of a, a bit of, of a burden. We've had about 150 lineup changes in the last three, four, five years. What was it actually like this time around being in the studio and recording? Satisfying. Yeah, no, it was did, good. We did it properly. Yeah, we did it. We, we spent the money, we had a good time, we did it as well as we could do, and it was fantastic. What would be your advice in terms of getting a recording right and the way you Just want it to sound? Down and do it. Yeah, knuckle down, get some good songs together, don't save take some as money long up. As we fucking did. Yeah, don't take as long, get it out there. But it's it's about money. It's like, about the bucks, man. If you can if you've got five people in a band, you're chucking a couple hundred bucks each. Put you've out a CD, it. do it. It's so easy now to do it, man. No, you've just got to do it. You know, you've got to bite the bullet. If you want to, if you want to leave your stain on your local scene or your national scene or you your international, it, it is a stain. Scene. You've just got to do it. How would you categorise the strength of the Brisbane punk scene right now? Yeah, so it's getting better. It's getting stronger. There's great bands out there. There's heaps of great bands. Brisbane's always got great bands. This year's probably been best year for Brizzy Punk in the last three years. Last two or three years, Since yeah. the Gabba closed. And we'll be talking about God, cause he's a great unknown. metal band. And a final word for the Queensland public. Stay up here, we've got the best club, we've got the greatest bands, we've got the greatest lifestyle, just stay here. Just, if you're in Queensland, you don't need any words of reassurance because you know it's the greatest, greatest place in the world. It truly is paradise, mate. It is. Cool.